For this class, we're going to have some vinyasa flow, mixed level, as well as add in a good chunk of core work at the end. So to start the practice, let's come to the top of our mat in our mountain pose. With our feet underneath our hips, let's take a big shoulder roll, lifting shoulders up, relaxing back, and settling them down. And from here, just softening and closing the eyes. As we feel a lift of the crown of our head towards the sky, feeling grounded through our feet. Noticing the smoothness of our breath, the air gently flowing in, and then releasing out. And if we'd like adding in our ujjayi breath, that soft whisper breath, slightly audible exhale, just so we can become aware of the quality of our breath. We start to move with our breath. Let's take an inhale, raising the arms up to the sky. As we find our palms meeting, hands flowing down to heart center. Continuing that circle sweeping flow, inhaling to raise our arms, exhale to bring hands down. We can move a little bit faster for more energizing heat building, or a little slower for more grounding, relaxing sensation to the body. We'll take one more circle sweeping flow of the arms. And then with eyes either gently closed or softly opened, let's flow in and out of our chair pose. Arms can raise the sky as we sink down into chair, hips down and back towards the mat. Inhaling again, raising up to the sky and exhaling to release. We'll take one more time in and out of our chair pose. And again, with eyes still softly closed, or again, if we'd like to open our eyes, this time as we inhale up to sky, let's release down to the mat into a fold. Releasing those fingertips down, lengthening the back, the back of the legs, the glutes, raising up and then releasing again. Just flowing with our breath. We'll take one more time in and out of our forward fold. And as we meet at the bottom of the fold, let's come on to hands and knees, all fours for our cat cow. With our wrists underneath shoulders, knees underneath the hips, let's first arch through our backs into our cow pose, and then tucking and rounding into cat. Moving one vertebrae at a time, articulating through the spine. And just noticing if we have any tight or stiff places in our back and breathing deeper into those places. And take one more flow in each direction. First arching and then rounding. Where we ultimately come into a neutral spine for our spinal balance, where we extend the right arm, left leg, inhaling away from center. And with an exhale, placing hand and knee to the mat. Shifting to the other side, again, inhaling, reaching and lifting, exhale to release. Flowing at a pace where we can feel strength and stability in the body pairing with that flowing movement.
Let's flow one more time on each side. As we ultimately come to all fours, we're going to take our flowing thread, the needle, where we are grounded and stable, balanced, lifting the right arm up to the sky, inhaling a deep breath. Then we'll take this lifted hand, passing it between opposite wrist and knee. As we flow, inhaling to lift back up. Exhale to release, feeling openness through the shoulder, strengthening through our core, as we create mobility through the spine. We'll flow one more time. And so we ultimately lift our arm up to the sky, holding for a moment for the strength building, and then releasing the hand to the mat. As we reset our, our weight, let's shift to the other side, left arm up to sky, inhaling breath here. Exhale to release. And we'll flow two more times. And our last flow. Let's raise the arm up to sky, holding for a moment. And then releasing down as we shift into our child's pose. With our hips back to heels, arms extending forward, little rock side to side in the hips. As we flow through our vinyasa, shifting forward into a kneeling plank, lowering halfway down, pressing back up, and then hips to heels in child's pose. Continuing to move with the breath, building heat and strength in the upper body. Let's flow one more time at our own pace. As we meet back into our child's pose. From here, let's lift up into our downward facing dog. Taking a pedal push of our heels to the mat, pressing and holding one heel down, and then the other heel, lengthening through calves, back of legs, As we let both heels rest towards the mat and start to walk our feet to the top, meeting in a fold. From here, taking an inhale breath, rising up to the sky with our hands around behind us for a moment in a chest expansion, allowing us to reset our posture, relaxing shoulders from ears and noticing the lift of the crown of the head to the sky as we ground our feet to the mat. And as we flow through our sun salutations, let's raise the arms up to the sky, inhaling a deep breath. Exhale to release down into a fold. With our right foot stepping back, dropping the knee to the mat, inhaling a breath here. With an exhale, let's rotate towards the front knee, hand on hip, hand on knee. As we untwist arms up to the sky, let's release those hands down and in hips to heels in our child's pose. As we shift forward into plank, lowering down onto our belly, let's lift heart center away for cobra. As we press up, hips back to heels in child's pose. As we lift our hips, let's take the right foot forward, inhaling a deep breath. Exhale, rotating towards the front knee, hand on hip, hand on knee. And as we untwist arms to sky, releasing down and stepping into a forward fold. With an inhale, we lift to the sky and move in through our chair pose. As we reach back up to the sky, finding that same sequence leading with the other side, 
where we'll step the left foot back, draw a knee to the mat, and as we raise arms up to sky, inhaling breath. Exhale to rotate twist and to hip hand to knee. And as we untwist arms up to sky, let's release our hands, making our way into a child's pose. Shifting into plank, lowering onto the belly, inhaling heart center away from the mat, and finding our way back into child's pose. With a lift of the hips, left foot steps, we raise the arms up to the sky, rotating and twisting towards the front knee. And as we untwist, inhaling breath, we'll release and find our way into fold. With an inhale, we rise to sky and move through our chair pose. We can continue with our modified sun salutation or for full sun salutation, releasing down into fold, stepping our right foot back into a high lunge where our arms reach to the sky. We'll release, grounding the left palm, a right palm, left arm up to the sky. With our hand to the mat, finding downward facing dog. As we flow through vinyasa, coming to plank, half lower, inhaling into up dog, and exhaling into down dog. With the right foot stepping forward, we raise arms up to the sky, inhaling breath. Exhale to release, grounding the left palm, right arm up to sky. And with an exhale, we release, finding our way into forward fold. With an inhale up to sky, flowing through our chair pose. One more salutation. This time leading with our left leg stepping back. Rising into our high lunge. And as we release, grounding left palm, right arm to the sky. With our hand to the mat, downward facing dog. Flowing through vinyasa, knees or toes. This time our left foot will step forward. Raising into high lunge. And as we release, grounding the right palm, left arm to the sky, inhaling deep breath. With our hand flowing down, finding forward fold, inhaling to rise, and moving through chair pose. With our next breath, let's release down into fold, yep. stepping the right foot back into warrior one, grounding that back heel to 45. And as we raise arms up to the sky, let's bring hands around behind into chest expansion, just like we did at the start, focusing on our posture, relaxing shoulders, noticing our torso squaring to the front as we reestablish the breath. With our next inhales, we raise arms to sky. Let's open up into warrior two, straightening the front leg to find triangle pose, reaching all the way forward and then tilting down hand onto or the next to the shin. Our gaze can lift towards that lifted palm. Finding one more breath here, maybe reaching our fingertips a little bit further up to the sky, crown ahead towards the top of the mat. And with an exhale, we can release down, shifting to lunge and shortening the stance into pyramid pose. We'll first lift out of the posture, crown ahead, reaching forward, shoulder squared forward. And then with our exhale, coming down with hands either remaining on the shin, perhaps using some blocks, or all the way down to the floor if that's within our reach. Mm. 
Ashley. With our next exhale breath, let's release down to the mat, stepping to lunge and turning towards the long edge of our mat for a little flowing standing straddle. So shifting weight to one side, bending knee, shifting weight off to the other side. Continuing to flow with the breath. As we ultimately walk to the top of our mat, let's find our way into downward facing dog. Holding here or flowing through a vinyasa, if we'd like more strength or heat building in the body. And from our downward facing dog, stepping our right foot forward. Finding warrior one on this side. Inhaling a breath. And once again, finding our chest expansion around behind us. Couple more deep inhales and exhales. When their next breath as we rise the arms to the sky, let's open up into that warrior two. Straightening the leg to find ourselves in triangle pose. Straight arms, straight legs. And this posture is a great place to focus on dynamic tension. Arms reaching away from center. Karna head reaching forward. Back heel grounded into the mat. As we ultimately soften through that front knee, pivoting back into lunge, shortening stance into our pyramid pose. Again, we inhale to lengthen, then exhale, releasing down to our place in the pose, okay. a place where we can focus on squaring hips and shoulders forward. One more deep inhale breath. And with our exhale breath, releasing and stepping back into lunge. Once again, coming into our straddle, this time with our legs straight. We're going to focus on strengthening our core with a twist, where we find our twisting straddle. Left hand can come to the mat. Right arm reaches to the sky. And as always, we can keep eye gaze down just out to the side or all the way up to that lifted palm. Releasing this hand, resetting. This time placing the right hand down, left arm up to the sky. We always have the option of placing the hand to the low back if that's a little bit more of a gentle place for our shoulders. the release of our hand to the mat let's make our way to the top of the mat stepping back into a plank holding strong strong in our plank pose 
Wrist and shoulders stacked. Body along straight line. Then we can release down onto our bellies. Preparing for our cobra. Inhaling a breath here, lifting heart center away from the mat, shoulders down. We can stay here for more challenge. Arms coming alongside the body for locust pose. If we'd like even more further challenge, we can place hands behind the head into sea animal. With an exhale breath, breath we can release and place our hands down to mat and just rest your forehead onto the mat. We're going to repeat that sequence. So first hands coming underneath our shoulders, inhaling and lifting into Cobra. Staying here and holding, or maybe extending arms alongside the body for Locust. Or if you'd like the further challenge, hands behind the head for Sea Animal. And as we release, let's move into our child's pose as a counter stretch. Rounding and releasing the spine. One more deep breath here. Deep inhale, long exhale. As we lift up onto all fours, we're going to prepare for a gate side plank flow. We'll place the left knee underneath us, the right leg out to the side. And then as we raise our torso up, inhaling left arm overhead, this brings us into our gate pose. Establishing openness through the body and strengthen the core as we move into our kneeling side plank, left hand to the mat, right arm to the sky, and then we'll lift the right heel up. Again, feeling the strength in this posture. And we'll flow once again, first into gate pose, inhaling breath here. And then strengthening even more to come into our side plank. We'll do two more slow flow. One more time into gate. And this time as we come into our side plank, holding here, or we can come all the way into a full side plank. If we're in full side plank, releasing to kneeling. As we raise our torso up, we can simply reset for the other side. So knees are stacked. We'll place the left foot out. Right arm reaches overhead into gate. Inhaling breath here, feeling openness inside body. As we strengthen our core, coming into kneeling side plank. Continuing that slow flow, inhaling gate, establishing the pose, and then into side plank.
And one more time into gate pose. Then as we find our side plank staying and kneeling or extending bottom leg into full side plank. Releasing back to kneeling, and ultimately finding our way into downward facing dog. Using downward facing dog to transition into a forward fold. Taking a moment here, letting the torso hang heavy. And with an inhale breath as we raise to the sky, bringing palms together at heart center. We're gonna do a flow now between a knee lift and a warrior three. And we're really gonna focus on stabilizing using our glutes and our core. So as we stand on the left, lifting the right knee up and exhaling, tilting forward into warrior three. Again, inhaling to rise. We can touch down our toe if that helps with balance. But what more importantly helps is just finding a still place for our eye gaze. One more time into the knee lift. And we'll hold our warrior three. We can remain hands to heart center, maybe find airplane arms or arms reaching all the way overhead. Coming back into our knee lift and then releasing the foot down into mountain pose. Resetting for our other side. Grounding in the right foot, left knee lifts. And with an exhale, tilting forward, warrior three. Again, flowing into knee lift. One more time we flow. Three. Then moving into and holding warrior three. Any of those arm options. Inhaling back into a knee lift and releasing our feet down to the mat. As we find mountain pose, inhaling to raise arms up to the sky. Let's release down into our fold then ultimately down onto knees, and we'll begin to make our way seated. From here, finding our butterfly pose. Soles of feet can meet as we find a tall neutral posture. Inhaling breath here, and with an exhale, we'll tilt forward. Letting the pressure come gently to the inner thighs or knees, deepening the stretch. Once we gently release from this posture. For our Turkish twist, we'll take the left foot drawing underneath us towards the right glute, and the right leg will cross across. Sitting up nice and tall, we'll rotate towards the top knee to the right side. We can rest hands gently, hugging knee in, or adding hands to heart center. Focusing on using our core center to deepen the twist. Feeling our obliques nice and strong as we pull back with the right shoulder.
and gently untwist and just uncross, recross the legs for the other side. And sitting up nice and tall, exhaling into our twist. Either hands gently on knee and hip or hands to heart center. Again, gently untwisting. From here, we'll come onto our backs for some more traditional core work. First, placing the feet flat to the mat. We're gonna do some standard crunches, hands behind the head, inhaling a breath here. With an exhale, we'll lift the shoulders away from the mat. Inhale to lower back down, and exhale to lift. Continuing to flow with the breath. Focusing on the strong exhale breath as we lift. Inhales, we lower. We'll find three more. And as we rest our head down, lifting the feet up, knees stack over hips. From here, a nice slow bicycle crunch where we lift up our torso, twisting to one side, extending leg as we twist, releasing back down. Exhale to it, twist, and inhale to lower down. As we move a little slower, having the opportunity to focus on the integrity of the movement, the quality of the movement. Flow one more on each side. And as we return to center, upper body can relax. Legs will lift to the sky, and we'll do some leg lowers and lifts. So inhale, we lower down. Exhale, we'll lift the legs back up. Again, going nice and slow so that we're in control of the movement the entire time. We're not using momentum. We're using the strength of the core. I'll find one more. And a quick break for our hip flexors, feet down to the mat. Lifting hips up to the sky. With our hips flowing back down, legs can go back up to the sky. We're going to repeat those crunches, but now with our legs lifted. So inhaling a breath here, exhale to lift the torso up. Inhale to lower down, exhale to lift. We'll find one more. And then just like we did with our bicycle crunch, we'll now do the same with a straight leg bicycle. So with our next breath, inhaling. Exhale, dropping one leg as we rotate and twist. Inhale to lift the leg, release the head. Exhale to twist. Inhale to release.
We'll find one more on each side. Again, a quick hip flexor break. Feet down to the mat, pressing into the heels to lift the hips to the sky. And then with our hands coming back behind the head, legs up to the sky. One last exercise, which is going to pair the crunch with the leg lift. So from here, inhaling legs lower, and then exhale, lift the legs, lifting the torso. Again, inhale, everything lowers. Exhale, everything lifts. We'll find one more. One last hip flexor break. And we'll take a moment to relax in our final relaxation. Legs can go long, arms alongside the body, the whole body restful into the mat. Using this opportunity to reestablish the full deep breath. As we bring awareness back to our body. Gentle movement, wiggling fingertips and toes or rolling wrists and ankles. As we ultimately bring ourselves up to seated, we find easy seated, hands to our knees, our eyes are still soft and closed. A couple more inhales and exhales. And we bring our hands together at heart center in our Anjali Mudra. Namaste.